Okie dokie. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope everyone's having a good start to their week today. Um, it's day five of our Stardew Community Center Challenge. I do have new goals for today, and I did something a little bit different. I put them down in the corner over here, so we're going to have our daily goals in the corner and displayed instead of just the overall stream goals. So today, we want to make quality sprinklers, plant all of our summer crops, reach level 70 in the mines, upgrade our axe to a steel axe, and get all the summer fish for the bundles. Kind of ambitious, I'm not sure if we'll finish everything, but um, it's always fun to try. A little challenge. But yeah, let's just get right on into it fortune teller Ooh, the spirits are annoyed today that's okay we've got a lot of planting to do since it is the first day of the season he got mail dear resident in our time in stardew valley joja has made an effort to become a contributing member of the community but we can't do it without your help if you choose to shop at Joja's competitors, such as Pierre's General Store, you won't have the same assurance of quality and consistency. And without your business, we won't be able to afford to contribute as much as we'd like to to local charities. Shop at Joja Mart and keep your community great. Joja Mart, we value your business. Icky. Icky Joja. Okay, get rid of all this. I wonder if I can make a few quality sprinklers. Is that even like uh, an option I have right now? Oh, I don't have my axe on me. Right, I left it in the mines at the end of the last session. Okay. Well, to the mines. To the mines we go. Happy first day of summer, by the way. I'm so excited. Things seem to be going well. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, the grass recolor is so beautiful. That is a great mod. All right, all the way up and through. I haven't seen any forage anywhere. That's shocking. Oh, there's one. Spiceberry over there. Oh, and Linus. My bestie. Is that? Oh, no. It just looks like something. That was a tease. Okay, back up here. Hi, Marlin. Okay, get all of our tools. Where's the watering can? Oh no. Have I doed myself, chat? Right, that's just down to Marlin's boat. Okay, let's head to Pierre's, get ourselves some seeds for the first day. Bum. Ba, 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 That in the community center. I saw a heron wading gracefully through the morning mist. Such are the treasures of a quiet life. Cute. Is it faster to go? Yeah, I think it's faster to go down than around to get to Pierre's. Another spice berry? Everything is so bright. Ba 
Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. Hi, Gus. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. That is true. Okay. Um, so our crops for summer, let me check really quickly. I think it's five golden melons and a tomato, a hot pepper, a blueberry, and a regular melon. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm gonna buy 20 and hope that's going to be enough for us. 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 7, 8, 9, 10 10 peppers and then 5 blueberries. Oh, I should get some corn as well because I'm pretty sure we need those. And I think we need sunflowers for something too. So, yeah. Ooh, wheat. Okay. First up is corn. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have to buy more of that as the season goes on, but it is also available in fall. One, two, three. Just three sunflowers. Okay. I think that's good. Can I talk to Caroline? I do want to be her friend. You're not good enough with friends good enough friends with Pierre or Caroline to enter their bedroom. But the door's open. So annoying. Okay. Let me in. Alright, let's go plant shit and look for our watering can. It might be at the beach, so we are gonna stop at the beach first. I don't know how I managed this. Losing the most vital of my tools. Hey Vesper, how you doing? Oh my god, three gold ore! Winning! A sand dollar? A gentle little sunbeam woke me up this morning. I've never felt so refreshed. That's so cute. I'm so happy for you, dude. Running on three hours of sleep is fun. No, it's not, buddy. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Hey, summer is definitely the best time of year. Right now is great because we've got the whole season to look forward to. Catch you later. Why'd you only get three hours of sleep, friend? I'm going to get such a nice tan this summer. Yeah, Haley? A dried starfish. Okay, it wasn't there. Had to work. Oh no. That is the worst. Well, I hope you get some really, really good rest after you're done working. Are you working right now? And I hope everyone's so nice to you and you have the easiest day ever at work. Alright, there's Andy's stuff. Boss likes to complain that I don't do anything. Meanwhile, they don't actually have any work for me. Oh my god, bosses are so fucking stupid, dude. Like, most of the time, the work is going to get done better if the boss isn't there. Is it just a company that's like, oh, we need bodies and chairs otherwise it looks like we're not doing enough and it's like well we're not doing anything we're just sitting here so what is the point that's if you're physically at the job site i'm remote ah
remote working has been such a game changer, honestly. I didn't realize how much I hated physically going into work until the option arised to not do that. Oh, I think I need to get more sprinklers too. We don't have the quality sprinkler recipe yet. Only the normal. Well, I don't want to make normal sprinklers. They're pretty worthless. So let's make tappers instead. We need 40 wood and two copper bars. Do we have enough wood? There's our watering can, that's good. And no, we don't have enough wood. Working remotely is awesome. I just hate having to deal with incompetence from across the country now, absolutely. Should I should have put the fertilizer down first? I don't know. And we have nine melon seeds too. That's very good. Working remotely is awesome. Oh, just sorry. I already read that. I don't know how to switch between my menus on PC. is lucky. Two, three, four, five. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. I really gotta get my farming level up this season so we can get some quality sprinklers. Is spring starting to happen for anyone else in real life? We had our first hummingbird in our backyard yesterday. I was so excited. Mm -hmm. Tweet, 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 tweet. I might need a snack just to finish this up today. I should also check the fruit back cave. I can't tell anymore. It's always hot here. Oh, that sounds like my nightmare, Vesper. I do not do well in the heat. My husband and I went on like a little uh, road trip a few years back and we went uh, and tried to climb the red rocks like right on the border of Colorado and Utah, I want to say. And it was so hot. I was miserable the entire time. He has the funniest picture of me underneath the only tree that I could find on the entire hike. 
hands on knees. My face is bright red and I'm dripping sweat and I look so mad. <laughs> Good memories. Okay, let's go look for the rest of our summer forage. We need a grape and one other thing that I cannot remember. Hop and schmear. <gasps> so much fruit, guys! Oh my god! This is gonna be amazing for the community center. Oh, I'm full already. Oh, that sounds like a typical day for me. I'm originally from the north. Cold is best. Cold is best. I'm so sorry you live in a hot place when you're a cold person. Oh my goodness. I'm also from more northern parts. Not super north. And not in Canada or anything, but pretty dang close. Oh, this is the wrong way to go. I want to go to the community center. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm the queen of getting distracted. I say out loud, I'm gonna go do this, and then I don't. I just run right by it. Okay, to the fruit bundles. Exotic foraging bundle, no? Fall. Definitely a spice berry. I think I might sell yeah, that's a blackberry. It's not even a grape. That's winter exotic. I swear there's one that needs all of this fruit. It's 9.50. There it is. Pomegranate. Cherry. Hmm. Do I want to give the peach away that silver stars or sell it for money? I'm just going to give it away. Yeah. Hi, Junimo. I saw a TikTok of someone who named their cat Junimo and that's the cutest name for a kitty in the whole world. I was so excited for them. Jembem baby 84 thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you lots. And welcome to stream. I'm so glad to have you here. Are you a big Stardew player? Alright. I think we're gonna sell that. We're donating that. And everything else looks like sell, except for the seeds. We need to plant those tomorrow. Gold can stay, we'll use that. Stone sap, bum bum. Oh, and clay. Hi there, helping you reach that affiliate. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, I play Stardew, but I don't stream it. It is such a fun game. I have been loving the community. Definitely happy to be here.
go to sleep for the night. Do you have favorite characters or anything? I love to hear everyone's favorites. I'm a big Emily fan. It's a very comfy, cozy community. They are fab, yes. And I love that Concerned Ape is like so active in it too. Really cool dude. To our valued Jojamart customers, please be advised that the landslide blockage near the railroad will be cleared using explosives tomorrow morning. Avoid the area in case of falling rocks. Jojico is not responsible for any damage incurred to people or property in the vicinity. Jojamart, we value your business. I can't wait to get that shut down. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, 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 bow. I'm marrying Penny in my playthrough. One more heart and there will be wedding bells. Oh my god, so exciting. I also love Sam too. Fair, Penny and Sam are sweethearts. I have the free love mod on this. So I am gonna marry Rasmodius in this playthrough because um, it's the first time I've had the option with Stardew Valley Expanded and he has purple hair like my husband does in real life. So I was like, yeah, I wanna marry the wizard actually. But I might still marry Emily too because I love her and she's my favorite. That didn't take too much energy. Oh yeah, we gotta check on our chicken. Our chicken. Hi, chicken. Oh, he's angry. We gotta go get you food, huh, buddy? I totally forgot that I got that last stream. Tamarnies. She better be here today. It's Tuesday. I think she is. Wow. Oh no, she'll be exercising. Dang it. Of course she will. She never wants to do her job. Everyone else has like one specific day that they're gone. And I swear Marnie's gone like half of the days. I'm just gonna check just in case, cause sometimes you can do a weird glitch. Nope. Fuck you, Marnie. Oh, Jazz. <laughs> Hi. Well, I'm gonna go to the ocean and fish today because we need some fish for our bundles. Oh my God, a cutscene. It's like she hates animals. It is Prof and hi, welcome. I'm so happy to see you today. How are you doing? My character is so cute, thank you. I worked very hard on her. Um, there was like a Sailor Moon outfit and hairstyle mod that I added so I could get her hair like that. And I love it so much. Dusty. Oh, by the way, for anyone who is watching, I have my entire mods listed, uh, all the mods that I'm using for this playthrough is listed on my YouTube channel underneath my Let's Plays. So if you're curious about what mods I'm using, you can check it out there. I just couldn't find a, an effective way to list 55 mods on Twitch. It just, it wasn't practically happening. Pet Dusty, oh my God, we get to pet the dog, guys. Also, I'm gonna pause really quickly and shout out Prof Neils. Bam. Awesome, there we go. 
Prof is a really cool dude. Uh, he streams the long dark mostly, but he's also playing Kingdom Come Deliverance right now. Um, amazing guy. He's got a great community going, and he is a professor. He actually does research on video games in real life for his job. So he can tell you all kinds of cool sciencey things about the games that you're playing. Anytime, Prof. Thanks for hanging out and being cool. Oh, Vincent is trying to find out who I have a crush on. Oh, come on, tell me. <laughs> Hi, Alex. If my hair wasn't so popular with the ladies, I swear I'd shave it all off in a second. Sigh. Life can be tough. Yeah, it sure can, buddy. Just having a rough go at it with your long, luscious locks. I wonder how Elliot feels every day of his life. Ooh, we get the relaxing ocean sounds today. There we go. Well, I want this, so. We will ruin our perfect for it. Ooh, tilapia, that's one of the things we need for the bundle. Oh my god! <laughs> what? That's so cool! I just got a level 20 sword, a diamond, and magma- Oh my god. Hashtag blessed, you guys! I'm so excited! That's amazing! God, the luck in this game is wild sometimes. Well, we're going to the mines tomorrow. And we're going to kill everything that we can see. Obviously. That is so freaking cool. Ooh, some of that dulce seaweed. I still need to figure out what that's for. It's definitely part of the expanded, like, mod, but I don't know what to use it for yet. It does have minus one speed, but that's okay. An heirloom from beyond the gem sea. Oh no. You know, tilapia was one of the first fish I ever ate that I liked in real life. It has a very nice, like, non... it's not overly fishy of a taste, I guess. Oops. The bounce. <laughs> I don't think the mullet is one we need for the community center. I think it's called a uh, red snapper that we need. Dog's affirmation stuck in my head. Ah, no, no, no! 
frick. I wish there was a way to capture a modded 3D... Game capture a modded 3DS? You can mod your 3DS? I didn't even know that. But that would be so cool. Yeah, yours is modded? That's amazing. I forever regret getting rid of some of my older electronics like that. Like some days I just really want my Game Boy back, you know? I get better every single day. How do you mod that, Vesper? How do you go about doing something like that? I'm super curious. I think that's so cool. I just finished replaying my childhood favorite Mario game. Brought back so many memories. Oh, That's so sweet. I love the nostalgia that games can hold for us. And just like the memories and... They're so beautiful. They've got such a beautiful place in the culture. I've been considering, I was a really big uh, RuneScape player as a kid, and I low-key want to hop back on and uh, see what I can get back into. That's awesome. I love playing Zelda. Holds a special place in my heart. Happy memories. I... So I'm super new to the Zelda fandom. Um, I played Breath of the Wild in 2021 for the first time ever. It was my first ever Zelda game. And now I'm rocking through like Ocarina of Time. I'm trying to get Twilight Princess. I fell in love with the world and the story. It's just so cool. They're amazing games. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, first ever RPG that was for Game Boy Advance that was way ahead of its time. Oh, that's so cool. My mom was always a big Super Mario Bros. player. She was the best at it. We're going to get on like a house on fire. Oh, yay. I'm so happy you're here. I love meeting friends with the same interests. As for modding a 3DS, there's something called Luma. I don't remember how you install it though. Okay, I might do some research tonight when I'm done streaming because that is fascinating. This is my first ever time playing a modded video game also. I'm kind of new to gaming. My husband uh, is so kind and he loves sharing. So he got me set up with games in 2020 when the pandemic first hit and I took off. I love them so much. I'm having such a good time. I'm so thankful that, uh, I don't know, just to be a part of such a cool community and to find passions like that later in life. It's lovely. Just wait until you get into modding Skyrim. Oh, that sounds really fun. Y'all, my Skyrim save is the biggest mess ever. It was like, I think it was the second open world game I did after Breath of the Wild, and I was really confused about how I should be going about things, so I just joined everyone's clan. No matter what they were doing, I was like, yeah, I'll join your clan and do stuff for you. <laughs> it's a rabbit hole I'll never get out of. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of excited. That's pretty much what I did too, oh well. See, I just wanna be everybody's friend, you know? How much stuff do we have, guys? Oh, we have iridium fishes today, super excites. Okay, let's fish a little bit more. We've got two empty slots. One empty slot, we need to take our uh, watering can home. Who are you, fast boy? What is this? 
You can be everyone's friend or everyone's enemy. There's actually a mod for that too. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh wait, no, you still get one more chance. So you can play like both sides of the civil war with a mod because that was the only thing that it doesn't like fully allow you to do is get on both sides of the, um, I can't remember who was fighting. Winter fell and someone maybe, eh. I'm also definitely not sitting on over 300 mods in my game. Definitely not. Why would you put 300 mods in a game? That seems a little excessive, doesn't it? No, I put 56 in my first game, so right there with you. I love the mods. They're so cool. All right, she's exhausted. Let's go home, babe. Hi, Willie. I tend to add mods that add more, like different places to explore, lol. Yes, I uh, have been loving Stardew Expanded for that because I've played Stardew through a few different times. I've never hit perfection quite yet, but I get pretty late game. Um. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Flynn1597! Thank you so much for the follow and welcome into chat. Lovely to have you here. How is your Monday going today? Oh, that's such a cute little emo! I love it! Are you a big Stardew player, Flynn? And I ask everyone, do you have a favorite character? I love to know. Prof, is that soup? Or coffee? Or tea? It could be all three. Soup, coffee, tea. I need to make more um, chests. Hmm, I kind of love Sebastian, but I think Pam is legit my fave. Her vibe is a vibe. <laughs> she is very unapolog unapologetically herself. I'll give her that. Okay, I think I need to save one tilapia, but they're both gold stars, so that kind of sucks. Also, I've never seen a starfish before. That's new. Sell, sell. I'll keep the broken CD because you can put it through the recycler for stuff. I'm going to keep those. Sell. Okay. It's a tea, but if you but if you have another interpretation you like, I'm on board. <laughs> I'm gonna call it coffee tea soup. I think it's all three. Technically, coffee and teas are both a type of soup. One is just leaf soup, and the other is bean soup. So, save the diamond. I guess put that away now. I have two swords I can sell. And I think there's seaweed in here. I really love how you have your goals on screen. Such a cool idea. Thank you so much. I just started today um, updating them. So uh, instead of, I had like my overall like goals for the entire run on screen, but now I'm trying to do my daily goals on screen. But thank you. I appreciate that. I have been definitely trying to put in some work to make it uh, look nice. Sort everything, and then let's look at our bundles. We've got, oh right, we have a whole cave of fruit still. I do believe that we need better definitions to soup. We do. It's much too broad of a definition. Okay, is 
still need a grape and a sweet pea for our summer forage. And I'm selling the rest of this. Hi, kitty kitty. Yeah. Good night, pumpkin. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice. We just hit 50 followers with Flynn. Oh my god, guys, we made affiliate. I mean, I have to sign all the paperwork and everything, obviously, but hey, that's so exciting. Thank you, everyone, so much for helping me get there. I appreciate y'all. Yes, my cat in game's name is Pumpkin. Madge! Oh my god, it's so good to see you again! Thanks, guys! I couldn't have done it without y'all, quite literally. It's so amazing to be able to chat with people and game with everyone. It's such a cool thing. I appreciate it so much. Let's do a little dancey dance! Your whole theme is pumpkins? Oh my god, do you stream, Gem? Okay, I just followed you. Pumpkins is a great theme. Playing some Dota right now, so I'm lurking. Absolutely, I appreciate your lurk match. Thank you so much for being here. Those are your emotes. Oh, perfect emotes. Look at those sweet things. They have little faces. But gotta say something for the affiliate. Thank you. Oh my goodness. What a cool day, guys. Happy Monday. It's the beginning of the week. <laughs> I love the faces on those pumpkins. Those are freaking adorable, guys. There was an explosion during the night. Casual. Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish, stir fry. Oh, it's Wednesday, not Sunday, that's why. I was like, what do you mean I already know? Hello? Suze, oh my god, she's beautiful. Hello. I'm Susan, the owner of Emerald Farm up at the railroad. I've been trapped up there alone ever since Joja caused the rock slide, so I've got a little bit of cabin fever. Happy to finally meet you, Polly. Stop by and visit Emerald Farm when you have the time. Oh, for everyone here, I don't know if, uh, my name is Polly and we're on Pocket Farm, so that's where we are. <laughs> Polly, this is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. You can't. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. Thanks, Mayor Lewis. No, I'm posting their, them all over the fucking town. Screw you for treating Marnie the way that you do. The iconic shorts. Yeah, they're going in the soup, guys. The shorts are definitely going in the soup. Wait, maybe not the soup, because that lowers your friendship level with everyone. Grange display. That's, that's a good idea. That is a good idea, Gem. <gasps> An emote that is the pants is such a good idea. <laughs> Do we have any other Mayor Lewis haters in chat? Because I hate Mayor Lewis. I hate him so much. I never went and got hay for my poor baby chicken. He's gonna starve to death. I'm the worst chicken mom. Mmm, shorts flavored soup. Yummy, yummy. The best part is it's it's his underwear, so it's uh, undie flavored soup. <laughs> I'm.
I'm not really a fan. He needs to treat Marnie better. Exactly! And also, I don't... This may be slight spoilers, but you can find a golden statue that he's commissioned of himself, which is obviously where all the money in Pelican Town has been going. Interesting. Sabotage! If only there was a way to put the shorts on the statue. That would have been amazing. He gets so mad at you when you put the statue up too. Like, sir, it's not my fault that you're financially irresponsible with the taxpayer's money. Okay, back to Marnie. Hi, Andy. This dude hates me because I don't believe in Yoba. That Yoba darn sound last night woke me up. What in tarnation was that? Marnie, please be home. My chicken is literally starving. He does not deserve this. Ha, good. Oh my god, we've got so many cute emotes in chat today. Look at the rainbow heart! And is that a seal? Is that a baby seal saying hi to me right now? That's so cute. I love it. Okay, let's feed our chicken. I love seals. I can tell those are so cute. What's everyone's favorite animal? Mine is penguins. I'm a big, big penguin fan. Club Penguin was made for me. Do I need a silo in order to feed my chicken? Can I just like... <sighs> to Robins. Unacceptable. Sloth! That's cute. Have you guys seen those videos of the sloths getting baths? And then they have to hang them up to dry? It is so adorable. Oh, you should look it up, Flynn. I highly recommend if you're ever like having a bad moment, just go look at some slaws drying out really quickly. They're so cute. Oh my god! This is new! Hello! Ooh! Oh my god, it's so cute! I love all of the farms that the expanded version added. Look at that! Hi, Susan! Your house is the best house. I'm thankful Joja cleared the rock slide. Lewis and I went through so much trouble getting them to remove the rocks. Joja refuses to apologize. I'm thankful Joja cleared the rock slide. Oh, whoops. Don't worry, girl. We're going to get them shut down. Joja won't last for long. I'm not good enough friends with Susan. You can place the hay down on the little shelf at the back of the coop. Oh, okay. Thank you. I might still buy a silo if I have enough stuff, but I don't think I do, because you need, like, wood and stove. Wood and stone, not wood and stove. Oh my gosh, gold star grape. Okay, let's try to feed our child again. Chicken Protecting Services is going to come and steal my chicken from me. Ahaha! <laughs> Thanks, Sam! <laughs> 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 
Alright, put the hay away. I think I want to go to the mines and test out our new sword. Sounds like fun! Come here, kitty. Yeah! I also forgot what level we got down to in the mines. I think it was 60? I want to say it was 60? You can also buy the grass start recipe and use the grass to place down outside the coop, open the hatch, and the chicken will eat that instead. Oh yeah, I do need to get grass starts down. Hi, Maru. I have to be wary of strangers. Most people don't like a wild man. I love you, Linus. You don't have to be worried about most people. Are you enjoying the season? It's been so warm this year. Okay, so it's Wednesday today, but Pierre's will be open tomorrow. So on tomorrow's agenda, we're gonna go and buy grass starts. Hey, Rusty Cog. I'll be streaming now, but I'll keep you tapped up. Thanks so much, Flynn. I hope you have a great stream. It was wonderful to meet you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys popping in. It's been so fun. I was just watching um, Spirited Away last night. These look just like the soot sprites. Some iron, good, good, good. One hit! Oh my god! Oh, come on. That's the only, like, downside to the tool switch mod, is that sometimes it doesn't do the tool that I want it to, and it will just keep switching back to the other one. There we go. Alright, get this iron that's up here. This song is so cute. <gasps> I'm pretty new to modded Stardew, but I do love it so far. I am also loving it. This is my, what, day five now on modded Stardew? So also still pretty new. And I'm so excited to finish my little, uh, my first year, essentially, because I, I do want to get the community center done in the first year. I think that would be a cool accomplishment. And then after that, I just want to explore the expanded version. <laughs> See all of the fun new stuff that they added. Ooh, Amethyst! My girl Emily will love it! how that slime just yeeted? Hit it, there we go. And there was one more, yeah, I want this quartz. Quartz. Are you doing the expanded version as well right now, Jem? Or do you have one of the other mods? I know there was like 
a Riverside one that added like 50 new NPCs. There was all kinds of stuff when I was looking through Nexus. What that? Hello? Okay, we're gonna get rid of this clay. It's not that important. And what was that? Oh, it was just a gold ore. Okay. I have the expanded and the riverside mod on mine at the moment. I have a year two vanilla playthrough as well. It's so fun! My sister and I are doing a vanilla playthrough. I'm trying to introduce her to the game and everything. She'd never played it before. And I think we just made it to summer. Expanded and the Riverside though? Oh my goodness. I was thinking about doing that and then I was like, I don't know, meeting 50 new people seems a little bit ambitious right now. <laughs> Is there a ladder somewhere? I would really like it if there was just one ready already. <sighs> so much ore. Okay, we need to eat something. Have you been liking the Riverside mod? And like, how does that work? Because 50 is so many characters. We're just gonna eat all of our cave carrots. There we go, got some quality retaining soil. And we should definitely be able to get down one more level. Hit that elevator. We're getting lots of gold today. There we go, 65. All right, let's head home. Leave the mine. Cool. <whistles> Nearly at that 70. Yes, we're getting so close. I need to do that. Get my regular axe upgraded, I think. Yeah. So that we can start getting into the secret woods. Or... I could do the chair hack. <whistles> Mara, what are you doing up at midnight? Did you guys see that? Almost the fourth. On the fifth, our hot peppers should be ready, and hopefully, that will make our farming level go up. We've got enough slime, I think, now to turn in. What though? Okay, tomorrow we gotta go see. Gunther at the museum. Got 
gosh, everything got so unorganized. Silly, silly bean. To bathe. Sunny day. Gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. The spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. I love the wording of that one. <laughs> Polly, my melons are growing like wildfire this year. Here's some extra seeds I, I got when I popped a number of them in my seed maker. Don't go trying to compete with me for the melon market though. I'll win. Susan. Cute. Um, ho. And one. One, two, three, four, five. I should have put them down that way. Oh well. So hopefully those ones will stay watered more often now. Okay, I need to focus on getting wood today. I need a new chest. And we're gonna need stuff for barns and upgrades. All the fun stuff. I also might finally make my tappers today. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It's 99, but we have one solar essence, so we can go turn that in. We should make an iron and a gold bar today, and we still need a fire quartz. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I think those are on 80 plus in the mines. Polly, how are you doing? I've enclosed some instructions on how to make one of my favorite fish recipes, Linus. Sashimi! Thanks, bud. Pet our chicken. Good for now. You'll have food for at least three more days. I'm playing Paper Mario Sticker Star and a bunch of toads just murdered a green toad and they all started celebrating. I don't know how to feel about this. Oh my god. That is, yeah, I don't know how to feel about that either. Just celebrate some murder really quickly. Damn, vicious toads, man. Okay, the spirits are annoyed today, so we're gonna forage and get wood. And that's gonna be it, probably. Oh, and get grass starters from Pierre's. Hold on, I want to test something really quickly. I'm going to grab the chair from out of my house. and see if we can get into the secret woods today. Chair. 
No, I, I, I want to pick it up. Okay, there we go. Still here, just chilling with some tea and enjoying the gameplay. Thanks, Jem. What kind of tea are you having? I love tea. I also have, quote, tea. It's called Red Bull. Hey, Red Bull gives you wings, so. Okay. Are y'all ready for this? I think. Ah, no, so close. Every time I see someone do this, it looks so smooth. Did I just lose my chair? Okay. <laughs> How do they be doing this? Can you like rotate it? Nah. Ba, 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 ba. Let's go say hi to Rosmodius. <gasps> he has a giant Malone. Look at this. You think to yourself that maybe, just maybe, there's something magical about this place. Just maybe. Oh my god! He's got like rainbow lights! I don't think I've been back since the first cutscene. It is now that the crops can make energy are born, and it is up to people like yourself to harness it. There are two crops available, and one has its seeds. To utilize them is pure alchemy. Seek the energies, Polly. Enjoy the day. Okay, babe. This is all very new. Chest is locked. It looks cool, though. He has a bed? This is so cute. Can I use this yet? No. And it looked like there was... Yeah, stairs down this way. Scene. Oh, so cool. Boom. Boom. The room is filled with magical books. You grab a book and start reading the contents. What are you doing? I only allow those who I trust down here. Hmm. The book in your hand is over a hundred years old. It outlines the magical properties of a number of mystical plants. Recently, I was fortunate enough to obtain several seeds of ancient fruit, previously believed to be long extinct, and I'm cultivating them outside. I hope to study their arcane energies as they grow. The world holds countless mysteries waiting to be discovered and studied. Our knowledge of some of these mysteries has been passed down among magic practitioners through these books for many generations. Visitors from the town here are rare, and not one of them has been drawn to my books, Polly. If you choose to pursue deeper arcane knowledge, I'll be delighted to assist. 
I get to be a student? Perhaps one day, I'll teach you some light magic, such as changing your appearance. I, yeah, I love the changing the appearance thing. Glad to see the prospect excites you. You're a true seeker of knowledge. Considering your connection with the Junimos and arcane potential, I grant you permission to enter my basement. I only ask you to stay away from the Shrine of Illusions and the Warp Hall. Other than those restrictions, browse any books in my collection that interest you. Don't open them too far, as it could crack the spines. Some of these books are many hundreds of years old. Hey! Wow, they added so much! Is this the warp hall that I'm not supposed to go to? Not in use. These symbols are scratched off to something, something, something. To first slash guild hall. Yeah, this is definitely the warp hall. To castle village guild hall. To Atlantis W. To Ferngill Republic Ministry of Magic. Wow. I love the wizard's theme. Ba, ba. Whoa. All right, any grapes or sweet peas? I'm shocked that we haven't seen any sweet peas anywhere. It's day four of the season. What's this? You're a wizard, Bali. <laughs> I am a wizard. I'm gonna be the best dang wizard they've ever seen. Hey. This is really big. Where am I? Hello? Oh my god, it just keeps going! <laughs> gotta be part of the mod there's so much forest oh my god a sword an ancient sword what's that it's an artifact okay cool hello Can I not get through this way? That's kind of annoying. Oh, this is gonna be real easy to get lost in though. Butterflies. Have you not seen this part either, Gem? This is crazy. There's literally so much woods. Give me all of the trees. No, I've not seen that part. I need to check it out. See if you also have it. Yeah! There's so much! I low-key, I kind of want to come back, like, in the morning and see how far it goes. I'm afraid to get lost, though, and, like, pass out here. Oh my god! A whole nother vineyard? Aurora Vineyard. 
Hello? It's a soggy moving box. Nothing is in it. Barrel is empty and slowly rotting away. An ancient doll. The kitchen is completely overgrown. Aurora Vengered bankrupt due to... March... I don't know what the... Stardew Val, the lower demand of... Local farms are unable to find vendors or to sell. There's an unexpected... Oh my... Is there like secret military options operations happening here? What is this? The Ferngill government has administered a blank to help facilitate Mayor Lewis's something something farmer of Stardew Valley. Financial inconsistency news of the... I don't know. C.S. Reuters Company or Reuters Company. Oh, it is abandoned and creepy. That was a really weird note. I'm unsettled. The plastic bag has a Joja logo on it. It hasn't been here long. Ah, the dang teenagers. Table looks fairly new. Someone has been here recently. Hey, a mushroom. Okay, yeah, we gotta find our way out now. A sign. Aurora Vineyard and Pelican Town. Is there anything up? So, none of the s expanded areas seem to be in my map, Gem. I may have missed a, a mod that I needed to add for the map. I'm not sure. But, like, I don't see Olivia and Victor's house over here. It says question mark. But, yeah, that's all we get is just question marks. I should look through that and see if there is an extended map that I'm just missing. That was really cool. We found many exciting things. A whole new vineyard. I wonder if we'll get to like restore that vineyard or see someone move into it or something cool. Let's go turn some stuff in at the community center. Finish up a bundle today. What the? So quiet. Oh, a lightning bug. All right, to the foraging. To the foraging. Exotic. Summer. Yay! We get 30 summer seeds we can plant tomorrow. Super exciting. Okay, I think there might be one more area that you can put away... The red mushroom? No. Nah. Quality crops, summer crops, fall crops, animal. Eggs will be on the way soon.
Ah, no, it's a purple mushroom. Ah. And we already did that one. Cool. Back home. Hi, Fokker. How you doing today? I. It's going amazing. We We hit it. We hit affiliate. We did it. I hit 50 followers today, and we got the average of three viewers last week. So, very exciting. Very happy Monday so far. Hell yeah. How is your day going, Dad? Oh, yeah. For everybody who's here, this is Lil Fokker. This is my dad in real life. Uh, we stream together every single Sunday over on his channel. It is a very, very good time. Boring ass Monday as usual. Stupid fucking work, man. Yeah, put away, put away. Sell all that. Good to go. Thanks so much, Jem. Yeah, we definitely, the vibe is a little bit different on Sundays. We do uh, State of Decay, so we're zombie killing. It's not quite as uh, cozy gaming, but it is a lot of fun. We have a good time. Oh my gosh, you have my gold star emote done. Thank you. Um, when I hop, yes, share them on the Googs. When I hop off today, I'll look at everything. I'm so excited. Okay, let's get all of the stuff we need to donate to the museum out. Get this out too, because that will complete a bundle for us. There was definitely another thing. Gunther can tell you about the jade, or we can put it into a crystallarium. One of those. I swear I'm missing something. There was like another small, there was a dried starfish and like a cog. Dried starfish. Maybe that is the only one. I guess so. Bed with us. Good night, kitty. Whoa, something weird. Weird is going on. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry about this. There we go. Um, that's okay. The beginning of that sound always sound uh, the song always sounds like an alarm. The dun dun. It shocks me. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. We've got lots of sunny days. Bow. Got 
got so many melons. Heck yeah. And then we should plant all of our summer seeds. That will up our foraging level, I think, not our farming. And it's Friday, so we need to check the traveling cart. Go see if there's any red cabbage. Thum, 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 thum. Ha! Ah, we got our first egg! Thanks, Chichen! Aren't they so cute? I am I'm Loki uh, debating getting the like fatter cuter animals mod. Make them even cuter. Ah, traveling cart first, then off to the museum. Hello. Take a rare seed. I don't think we need anything else. God, the food is so expensive. A thousand dollars for a meal. Welcome to inflation. <laughs> yeah, that's sounding a little bit like real life right now. Thousand bucks for a plate, pretty spot on. Yeah, we had a McDonald's order come out to like 30 something dollars and I was like, what in the actual fuck? is wrong with society right now. It's McDonald's. Sophia! Hello. Nice day, isn't it? It is a nice day, cutie pie. I remember when 20 bucks could feed your entire family at Taco Bell. Yeah. Like, you would feel like a king showing up to Taco Bell with $20. I am also a really big fan of Sophia. I'm excited to learn more about her personality. Oh, just water Gunther. That's fine. got an award. Da -da -da -da. Collect rewards. Starfruit seeds. Yes. Yeah. I guarantee there's nothing to be worried about, Mare. Another cutscene. But there is, Morris. Robin's house was struck by several rocks when the landslide was cleared. Susan was shocked by the blast. She wasn't informed of the operation until... Everything is under control and will be fine, Mare. And what of the garbage Joja jumps into the river, Morris? Willie, our local fisherman, says he's catching Joja, Joja CDs and cola cans. That's true, I am also catching those. Might I remind you, pursuant to initiative R27.01, Joja Corporation Amendment, Joja's operations here in Stardew Valley are fully compliant with the law. Ah, hello, Polly. I was just on my way. 
dang, the expanded version really goes in on Joja. They're like, this is a shit corporation and they're evil and you're gonna know it. Good day, Morris. Joja is paving a way to greatness in Stardew Valley. Okay, scumbag. It's only a matter of time until we're all united under Joja. Yikes. I don't know you. We were having a fine conversation yesterday, Jazz. It's a cult. It is a cult. The Joja cult. The Joja cult -piration. It's difficult reaching resolutions with Morris. Whenever he feels pressured, he asserts legislation, which is obviously the result of Joja's influence. Okay, but you're the mayor. So why do you let him pass the legislation? Idiot. Like... Let's go plant stuff, chat. We got all these beautiful starfruit seeds now. No far age today. This, the beginning of this song, sounds like alarms. It's very concerning. Just one. That's fine. Bum, bum. That goes in a different one. Ooh, four rare seeds. Exciting. Yeah, it does. Yeah, what does? Sorry, Gem. I, I got distracted there for a second. definitely like one of my biggest biggest weaknesses on stream is i'll even like ask a question to chat sometimes and then i'll forget what i asked so people are answering my question and i'm like what what are y'all talking about <laughs> it's definitely something i've got to work on poifix turn in a winter root and we should also plant our sunflower seeds because we need one of those for the bundles bum, bum. do I have I do have the thing for a bee house I need to make a tapper first though
All right. Put the tapper here. Not on the pine. I think that sandfish can go, crystal fruit can go. I don't think the coffee bean can be turned in. And we should grab out coal. No. Gold and iron. Do we have any iron bars? Nah. should hopefully be back by the time we come home. But them, but them. Ooh, it's Friday. Everyone's going to be at the saloon. Go to try to get some hearts for people finally. Yeah, dum ba dum ba dum ba dum bum bum. Nice, nice. Bring any fish? Yes. Okay, we need a red snapper. Okay, I definitely gotta go to the mountain at some point because I'm pretty sure sturgeon happen in summer. Nautilus shell, still need that. A second pomegranate. Okay. Not in there. I have a sudden hankering to rewatch Tron Legacy. Sorry, lurk while I tidy up my son's mess. No problem, Jim. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate the lurk. Why do you have a sudden hankering to rewatch Tron Legacy? Did I make a reference on accident? Hey, magnet ring. That's cool. And let's check out. I stumbled across a tiny clip of music from the movie, and now I want to watch it again. It's so funny how that can happen. You're like, it was just a little, a little taste, but it was enough. Okay, I'm purchasing that. Hey, we got 30 rounds of quality fertilizer. That's pretty cool. Hi, Demetrius. Do you have any animals on your farm? I do. I have a ch ch chicken named Chichen. We're pretty insulated from the rest of the world here in Stardew Valley. It has its pros and cons. Rain is passing through Stardew Valley. Oh, 
Oh, that's... Balls. They're finally making a new Tron after 13 years. I hadn't heard that. That's so cool. That's so exciting. Are you the recycling thingy? No, that turns wood into coal. One, two, three. They've been fighting with the movie peoples that entire time about a sequel slash trilogy. Oh my god. A new Tron or a new Tron. Ha ha. Tee hee. Oh my god. That's so annoying how, like, long corporations make to take shit. Or take to make shit. That was a solid dad joke. Solar essence away. Put our ring on. Oh, we have two rings? Okay, it's just, it's two of the same ring. I'm gonna sell this small one then. It's called Tron Ares. Yes, that. That's cool. So is it gonna be, like, more movies, right? I can't even remember the first one. That, that came out a long time ago. With Jared Leto in it, apparently. Oh my gosh. I think the last thing I saw Jared Leto in was uh, Suicide Squad. He was in that, right? And if I'm not mistaken, Daft Punk is getting back together for the soundtrack again. I could be wrong. That would be really cool if Daft Punk got together for the soundtrack. Daft Punk was such an iconic, like, 2012 moment. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. I'll bet. The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay in my shop year-round. Depressing, huh? My seamstress in Chestervale designed a beautiful dress for me. I'm looking forward to wearing it at the next town festival. Don't forget to compliment me when you see it, sweetie. Okay, Olivia. Don't you have work to do? Fuck off, Shane. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. Find anything good in the woods lately, farmer? A whole vineyard, dude. Like, just abandon out there. You can use a tapper to harvest syrups and other useful liquids directly from trees. Yeah, I just made one. Thank you. It's a slow process, but the result can be quite valuable. Indeedy. Polly, you look puzzled. I guess the hot summer air can make us a little dizzy. Olivia's high maintenance. I don't know. Is that really high maintenance? She said, hey, I'm getting a really, like, awesome pretty dress. This is the exact day I'm going to wear it. Please tell me I look nice. She laid out exactly what she wanted from you. And like, a compliment is pretty low maintenance, honestly. I love that. That was direct communication, baby. Oi, Gus, give me another part of your strongest. Hi there, Polly. If you're ever thirsty, the saloon is the place to be. If I wasn't so busy, I'd come help you on the farm. But Gus would be upset if I had another job. That's okay, honey. I'll kidnap you one day. And knowing when and where to, right? Like, it, everything was lined up for you. Everything. She was like, hey, I got this hot new dress. I'm wearing it this day, this event. I really need you to tell me I look hot. Can do. 
I absolutely can do that for you, Olivia. So easy. Sorry, Polly. I have a lot on my mind today. I'm not exactly in the best mood. Aw. Sorry, Victor. Can you leave me alone? Yeah, I can. I kind of wish I had a cat. Unfortunately, my dad is allergic to pretty much everything. Abigail wants me for my cat. <laughs> you did get those shots. We just kept bringing the cats home, so you didn't really have a choice, unfortunately. We gotta get Brad on them shots. See if it'll help him out a bit. Okay, put the quality fertilizer stuff away. I love those little whistles. To do. Hey, babies. humor. I think we'll go to the mines then. Get those last five levels. Hey, our peppers are ready too. Ba -ba 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 -da -bum -ba -da -bum. Oops. Headed back to work, gonna worky lurky. Love you, Dad. I hope you have a good rest of your day. As good as it can be. Thanks for hanging out on your lunch. I appreciate and love you. I'm so excited to get this quality sprinkler recipe. I need it. It's so funny to go through from like a playthrough where you're extremely far in the game. Like you've got all your iridium sprinklers set up. Your farm is pretty much self-sustaining. Back to brand new where you're like, I have to do everything by myself. Tron, Tron Eris is set to release at the end of 2025. Beck, oh my god. Why do they do that? That's still so far away. Like, tell us in 2025 that you've got a cool movie for us at the end of the year, you know? Like, I would much rather wait just a few months than a whole entire, several years, multiple years. Let's go put hay with our little guy. We can sell that. Bum, bum, bum. Thanks for the eggs. I might go down to Marnie's really quickly. I know I'm gonna need like ducks. So I'm gonna check how expensive those are. It's 
Slash if I can have them right now. I don't even know. I can't. So sad. Okay, I need a deluxe coop. Ba-dum, ba-dum, bum-bum. Hi, Willy. If the local fishing scene got a bit more lively, I might expand the shop's stock. Hint, hint, wink, wink. You smell like grass. I am a farmer. That's coming back soon. I hope he brings me some toys. Hmm, I just remembered that I was meaning to do something, but I forgot. Same, buddy. This happens to me all the time. So relatable. Hello, um, the mountains look nice today, don't they? Yes, they do, Miss Penny. Everyone's out today. Hello? I hope we're not having mushroom casserole tonight. Alright, drop off at the community center and then we can go to hit level 70 in the mines. Wrong way. Another furnace. Cool beans. Some of those. Oh, my nose itches so bad right now. Oof. No, a regular egg isn't part of the animal bundle. That's so disappointing. It's fine. All right. Organize. Oh, and we can sell that magnet ring off uh, from Marlin first, too. This one chest is not modded. Very weird. I am confusion. I'm so confused. Why no mod? Okay. Sell off this magnet ring really quick. Hello, who are you? Gertrude, I miss the dry heat of the desert. It's too humid here. We're 
actually going to place this furnace here. There we go. Drop off some of this stuff for now. Bing! Oh no! It's a very quiet mine level. There's no music or anything. Turn around. So eerie. Ooh. Yay. There's some music. so far away. <laughs> Starting to feel exhausted. Oh no. There we go. Oh no, we're too close to that. Eat. <laughs> the little noises they make are so cute. Wah, wolf thump thump thump. Door scroll too, exciting. Nice, a lot of iron on this floor. We'll need to make five iron bars. GS, how are you doing today? Happy Monday! Oh, let me do a pause. It's so good to see you! Yes! I just hit 50 followers today, so we hit our affiliate mark finally. I'm so excited. I could not have done it without you. Seriously, you've just been one of the best people to have met through this experience. This is GSV, everyone. He is also a streamer. Um, he is playing Octopath Traveler 2 and Final Fantasy 7 on his channel, I think. But super cool dude. I was lucky enough to have him raid me... Um, back when I first started streaming and he's just been so helpful in uh, sharing his community and uh, hanging out with me. It's been awesome. Is what I do. He also has a super cool YouTube channel full of tutorials for anyone else who is wanting to stream and uh, have better content. Anytime, GS. Thank you for hanging out with me and being so cool. I appreciate you always and forever. Um, let's drop off... Nothing, I guess. We don't really need to drop off any anything.
far too kind. No, you guys, sir. But yeah, it's been an epic Monday. Very nice, nice Monday morning. We've made new friends. We've hit, I think, two of our stream goals now. Oh my god, Abigail, you play music? Hello? Sorry for trying to smite you with my sword. Our house is in such a beautiful area, don't you think? I love the fresh air of the mountains. BRB. Catch in a little bit. Good luck with whatever you're doing. Hey, have any interesting farm stories to tell me? Guess not. Girl, you didn't even give me a chance. I had no dialogue options. I found a lost book. Inventory's full thing. All right. Do we have enough wood to make another chest? Just barely. Get rid of one quartz. Huh! None of the chests looks like look like they're doing the mod anymore. Very strange. This can be like donation stuff, donation stuff, geodes. Sorry, I gotta do a might a little touch of organization here. Sap doesn't go in there. Batwing stone. Doop, doop, doop. Great. Sell off our peppers. And we have no energy left, so we are not going to go fish. We're just going to go to bed, I think. Make another iron bar first, though. Oh, we've got so much iron. Tweet, 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 tweet. And keep that. We'll just start with that again tomorrow in the morning. All right, let's check the weather for tomorrow. More sunny days. I don't think we've had a single rainy day this uh, summer. Sardine. Hey, it's Sunday. It is I, the queen of sauce. Baked fish. Whenever I make this one at home, my two cats go bananas. I need a second chef around just to keep them from hopping on the counter for a bite. Just make sure the fish is fresh and preferably caught for your own rod. Now, as I place the fish on a bed of spring greens.
Oh, I didn't check the luck today. Should probably be a mine's day regardless, though. Sunday, we need to hit up the traveling cart, check for our red cabbage. Goodness. Is that two watering cans full? Ooh, let's check out our fruit cave, too. It's been a few days. Pet the chicken and then down to the cart. Hey, apricot. Super good. Down we go. Oh my god, there's so much grass. Maybe I should just move the coop over there. I wouldn't even have to buy any grass starts. There we go. Oil of garlic. I wonder if I have enough seeds to make myself some field snacks for the mines today. Mushroom. This is definitely one of my favorite of the Stardew songs. It's so upbeat. Spice Berry Lioness, it's been a hot second since I gave you a little gift. This is a great gift, thank you. You're welcome, thank you.
pomegranate and apricot are going to stay. We'll keep the common mushroom for some extra energy. Alright. Down we go! Actually, yeah, we can eat one of these first. Munch! I love the way her little ears flop when she eats. That's so cute. I didn't check the luck today, so we're in here blind. I've got no idea what we're going to be up against. in this game called dust sprites, right? Not soot sprites. Soot sprites are the actual, like, ghibli things. They are ridiculously cute, though. Oh yeah, ladder right there? Winning! It doesn't look like there's much, so we're just gonna kill this slime. It's always so funny, the ones that are like, it's taking forever. Okay. We gotta eat. <laughs> Bye. Common mushroom. Yes, yes. This is another one with no music on the level. So eerie. It's a very spook. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, so fast. We did it! 70! Stream goal checked! Another slingshot? I don't really use those, but that's okay. A master slingshot. They might be actually useful in the Skull Caverns, and I'm just bad at stuff. Alright, let's get all this back. Two, three, four, five, six good. Built my community center? Not, it's not finished yet. Uh, but we are well on the way. I'm gonna go head there now, and we can look at it. Yeah, I'm trying to, so instead of having the, like, overall goals for the entirety of the playthrough, I'm doing daily goals on screen now. I think that's a little bit easier to keep track of for myself. But yes, the overall goal is still get the community center finished in the year.
I checked the traveling cart. We're good to go on that. Let's get some ore out. And we're gonna need- oh no! Oh, da 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 da! I think it's five grand to upgrade the axe. So tomorrow is fishing. Get that money! Let me shove that in my pocket. Yeah! Casual! It fits right in there. You saw. I got Mary Poppins pockets. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, you just put it right in. Apricot. There is one more with a plum. I haven't ever seen that second emote that you did. Oh my god. This is disturbing. should make another tapper today too. The shock face. I I don't know if I'm good enough to fish you an octopus yet, Susan. I'm so excited to get my horse. That will be a game changer. We'll be able to go so fast. Put the solar essence away, amethyst. Five rare seeds! That's so exciting because those fruits are like eight grand each when you finally get to grow them. Okay. Sell some stuff. When do you get your horse? When I can afford to buy it. So I have to go to Robin. I think I have to upgrade my house to a kitchen. For, like, upgrade my house first and then get it. I can't remember. But I'll need like 10k. Did I say hello to my chitchen today? Chichen is trying to sleep. Well, I'm trying to say hello. Cool, one more of these. And yeah, we can cut down some wood while we're chilling and waiting on that. weird. Those are like decor, I guess. Okay. Tap 
copper on that. And yeah, let's just make two more copper bars because I know we're going to need at least two more. You're lucky you have such supportive family, especially when it comes to being a streamer. I, I am so lucky, Infernal. I definitely, definitely agree with you. It's an amazing thing to be able to share with, like, my parents and my sister, like... Very, very cool. I couldn't be more thankful for all of the support that I have. Especially, I've heard people say that, like, their families don't accept them as streamers at all. And I'm like, that's just so sad. I wish the best for everyone, and I hope everyone can be happy and successful in the things that they want to do. Okay, I think we're gonna head to bed. Did I pet my kitty today? I did. I'm a good cat mom. Yeah, level four in the mines. We get plus one to our pickaxe proficiency. We can make iron bars without a furnace. And we have a glowstone ring recipe. Yes, I'm making that. And a warrior ring for leveling up our combat. And we leveled up our foraging. Oh my god, we leveled up so much yesterday. Um, I think I'm going to do forester so trees drop 25% more wood. Joke's on them now because I moved across the country. Good for you, Vesper. Yeah, if your family is not supportive of you, I'm a huge proponent of going and making your own family because everyone deserves love and support. <laughs> what is the luck like today? Spirits are super happy today. Here's the alarm song. Here to make me think that a, an emergency alarm is going off. Bum, bum, bum. Hi, Madge! And you just earned another follower, so suck it. Oh my gosh, Vesper, are you a streamer too? And if so, what are you playing? I would love to hear about it. Going really good. So we've gotten down to level 70 in the mines. I leveled up in three different things yesterday. I got my foraging, combat, and mining levels up. And I think I finished half of my stream goals now. I was under another username. Forging is nice, probably the hardest one to level up. Yeah, and I finally got it to level five. So I get 25% more wood. Well, if you, are you still uh, doing it at all, Vesper? Or have you taken a little break? Currently trying to get the GF back into streaming because I'm good with the background and technical stuff of streaming. Hell yeah. What does your girlfriend like to play? <laughs> that kind of looks like a dick. Currently? Okay, I already read that. Yay, egg! Yay, chicken! That depends on her mood. <laughs> Fair! Oh, don't water that. 
Okay, I think we're gonna do a bunch of fishing now. You've also tried streaming match? How did you like it? I gotta sit with her and finally make a list of games she'll actually enjoy streaming. Yes, that's something I had to do with myself because while some games are really, really fun to play, I don't think they'd be as much fun to like stream to an audience, you know? It was a lot of talking to myself, but it was nice when people jumped in. Yeah, definitely feel, it's mostly me talking to myself, but it's so fun when people do come and hang out. I love it a lot. I've also noticed I talk more out loud to myself when I'm not streaming as well, just as I, I guess I'm just in the habit now. So I just kind of stream of consciousness all day. <laughs> Yep, I know exactly what you mean. Though I did play a bad stream game. What did you play, Madge? Tarkov. Oh my gosh, my dad really likes playing Tarkov. Is it not fun to stream, though? All geniuses talk to themselves. <laughs> shut up, Bakri. No, you shut up. <laughs> Is she gonna VTube to Infernal? Making the model is so much fun. So this is my like first prototype of a model ever. And um, I have started taking some art classes and everything because my goal is to eventually rig my own model that's a little bit more unique, I guess, because this is just uh, using Droid Studio. You both do, oh, that's so cute. I am such a big fan of having like VTuber avatars and everything. I'm a little bit shy on camera, but it's nice to have uh, something anthropomorphic to interact with. Is it a nightmare? Oh, excuse me, Demetrius, sorry. Demetrius, deep in thought. Well, hopefully it's not too much of a nightmare. Tarkov is fun, but buggy right now. Hopefully Nikita will clean house and get his audio desync figured out. Is Nikita the developer? I'm kind of new to this whole VTubing thing. Me too, Madge. Legitimately, so I started streaming because my dad started streaming. Um, he started last summer and he really wanted us to all come and hang out with him, so we did. And I ended up liking it so much that I was like, I'm gonna make my own channel, I wanna do it too. And uh, I just knew that I didn't want to have Cam on all the time. It's just not something I would be interested in. So when I found the VTubing community and like PNG tubers, I was so excited. He's the main guy of Battlestate games, but I don't think he's really doing much but CEOing at the moment. I'll stick with 3D because I already learned how to fix clipping and set up clothes, toggles, and facial effects. Oh my god, that's amazing. It is a great alternative instead of having Cam on match. I'm a big fan. I also love, I've been like trying to just uh, interact more with other VTubers and like learn about them. And the lore that people come up with for their characters is so fun. Hey, uh, Vesper, do you do any like it is a possible collab soon. So I was actually just gonna ask you, do you ever, um, like I would obviously be willing to pay you money, but do you make like assets, like clothes or anything for other VTubers? Cause I've been struggling with getting like more personalized clothes and uh, stuff like that. Ooh, a rainbow trout.
I've made a few, but it depends on what you want and how detailed you want them to be. Okay, um, here, I'm gonna drop my Discord link. We should chat sometime. I would, I would love to talk to you about it. Oh my lord. Who are you? Excuse me, please. Oh my goodness. No, stay with me, fishy. Stay with me. Ah oh, we got so close, guys. Ah! Please, 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 please. Yay! Sturgeon! And an old mariner. Yay, friends! Yes, Goog still won't let me share the gold stars I made to you. Whoa, well thought. Thanks, Dad. Thanks. Um... Can you text them to me? I guess I don't, I don't know what program you use to do them. I have no idea. Hell yeah, that sturgeon is something we need for the community center bundle. I've also set up plenty of chatbot commands and the like, more times than I'd like to admit. So you're a, you're a seasoned streamer over there, Vesper. Oh, and rebuilt multiple people's OBS scenes. See, that's the one thing that I've actually really enjoyed doing is uh, trying to set up like overlays and scenes for myself. Really fun. I've been having a great time with it. A bullhead, I think that goes into the community center too. I was streaming since 2012, 2014, I think. Oh my gosh, yes, a decade's worth of experience. That's so impressive. Winning. Hey, it's 420. Blaze it. I'm so excited about that rainbow trout. I don't know if I've seen one before. I can actually tell you when, because they reset all my achievements when they updated the achievements, all the Twitch streaming achievements and everything. That would be so sad. I hate when my achievements go away. Like, no, give them back, I earned them. It was 2015, I'm not mistaken, okay. They didn't reset them, just the dates I got them. Oh, okay. Oops. Stay on the line, fishy. <laughs> Thanks, fucker. <laughs> we like the smoking and the tokens on this channel. In case you didn't get my, uh, dragon reference. My beautiful puff boy. Okay. Hey, a minnow! Carp, bullhead, sturgeon. I think I need to turn in a carp, maybe, too, or a chub. I have chubs as well. So cool. Mm -hmm. This has been such a good run. Like, wow, I still can't believe I got a level 20 sword mm -hmm. from fishing. 
Good day, good day. Yeah, and we'll just go until she is exhausted and can't go no more. And we can't stop. And we won't stop. Okay, and then I think tomorrow is going to probably be my last day for stream today. Another chub! I am starting to feel exhausted. Last fish of the evening. I find it so funny how much time I've spent fishing in this run because I pretty much avoided fishing entirely in my first run that I did. I was not interested in this mini game. Please don't like exhaust me all the way. There we go. So many chubs, so little time, honestly. Are you smoking a cigarette, sir? Everyone is so happy in the sun. I don't get it. Same. Same. The sun is hot. It makes you sweat. And it can give you really bad burns. To the fishies! Excuse me, Mr. Junimo. Okay, no tiger trouts. Wood skip. Sturgeon. Ooh, a dressed spinner. The metal tab and colorful streamers create an enticing spectacle for fish increases the bite rate when fishing exciting bream and walleye we still need both of those oh it might be in the bulletin board that the chub is at oh and we already turned that in good 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 hellfire army i haven't used my old account in so long now hi there welcome in the chat how are you doing your old Stardew account? Oh, wait, are you, is this Infernal? Hi. No, no, my old Twitch account. Yes, I, I finally got that after a second. Thanks so much for the follow on the second account. I like the snowflake. Is that your, like, um, channel badge, one of them? Sell. Something from 2018. I don't remember what. What's how? Okay, I don't want this slingshot. I don't really use it. And we can put the spinner just directly onto the... Thing, can't we? Oh no, I have the wrong fishing rod out. That's silly of me. 
I've been making life harder for myself. Ah, no, you need a an upgraded rod in order to put on one of the spinners. Go to it, go to it. Need better than fiberglass. All right, to bed with us, and tomorrow is going to be the last day. Cork bobber, treasure hunter, heck yeah, level f seven in the fishing. All right, I don't think we're going to be able to afford an axe today, so we'll save that for tomorrow. And just focus up on fishing. The spirits are very displeased today. Oh no. Hey. Pepper's round two. Many crops. Um. Gosh, my cat is screaming at me. Says, Mom, why is the door closed? My God, this is an excessive amount of crops. Okay. why we need our farming level up so we can make quality sprinklers. That's two full watering cans. Two full watering cans of water, chat. Plus a little. On the middle. There we go. Bum, bum. Cherries! I'm pretty sure we already turned in cherries for uh, the artisan bundle. Yes, we did. Good, I'm getting a decent amount of hearts with Emily and Linus. Do I have the recycling machine? I do. I want to make one of those. I might also make a mayonnaise machine. Okay, I need an iron bar and 25 wood and 25 stone. Perfect. And I also... Earth crystal for... I think I have an earth crystal. I don't know, actually. 
I do. Mayonnaise machine. Cool beans. Let's set up the recycler right next to the charcoal kiln. And I'm pretty sure I already have trash to put in it. Let's do the soggy newspaper first because it can turn into cloth. Do I only have one thing of iron left? No. Okay, chop down some woods. I really need to set up my coops and barns over here. There's so much grass just ready. check over here. No forage today. A little forage mm -hmm. today. Oh, my poor little kitty. They're so funny. I swear they've got the perfect little internal timers. It's about the three hour mark and they're both out there like, hey, it's time for you to come out now. That wasn't what was supposed to happen. Yes, we got cloth. That's incredible. Okay, and we're gonna put the mayonnaise machine right here. And we should get some field snacks. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. One, two, three, four. Delish. Put the sap up. Glasses. Actually, nope. We can put the glasses through the recycler. geode and we're gonna turn in the spice berry I have four cats that also go full crackhead at certain times of the day yeah they just if the schedule is even a little bit off or like maybe possibly is gonna be off they lose their minds okay I want to fish today and I think river fishing is gonna be where we do. Put that away. One of which needs to be kept in a cage because he's, how you say, not the brightest bulb in the shed. Oh no, and then one loves to torture the cage kitty, of course. 
My cat is also incredibly stupid. My husband and I uh, have had to Heimlich one of our cats, each of us individually, has had to give him the Heimlich maneuver because he loves plastic and he will just eat as much as he can get his little paws on. Of course there's one that likes to torture the other one. That's always how it goes. I had a cat a long time ago that used to eat clear packing tape. Ew. I swear some cats have like a form of pica. What is the point of that? I've used my last piece of bait. Oh no. And I'm gonna pass out if I don't eat. Alright, back to it. Money, money, money! Hit! Oh my god! He's very fast! Leah's outside, just staring at her crops, it looks like. Ooh, sunfish. Cage Kitty is also our softest cat. Oh my gosh, so soft like a bunny, like short-haired soft or long-haired soft? Because there's the difference. They're both glorious, though. Short hair soft. I love the bunny hair soft. That's what our stupid kitty is too. And then our less stupid kitty is a long haired boy. I love how the characters walk. They're always like stomping. We also have a Tomcat Tabby mix. He's 20 pounds. Oh my God, a fat boy. Yes. I love fat cats. He's a big boy, yet somehow healthy. You know, fat doesn't always mean unhealthy. Some things are just a little bit fatter than other things, and that's a-okay. My cat looks like he's really big, but he's just uh, got super duper long hair, so I swear he like triples in size based on his fluff alone. Floofy, yes. The floofiest of boys. And he's got a curly tummy. It's so cute. Swing. A pike! I think I need that for the center, maybe. I also want to see if mayonnaise is something that I can turn into the community center, because that would be dope. Oh my gosh, Infernal, I read that as a, even though he's still a ki kitten, not even though he uh, thinks he's still a kitten. And I was like, he's 20 pounds on a kitten? That makes a lot more sense though. 
It's always the biggest boys who think that they're the smallest. Oh my god, what are you? What are you? Ah! So difficult. Yeah, very concerned indeed if he was a 20 pound kitten. A Dorado? That's new. Gem, I also love fluffy cats. Fluffy cats are lifeblood. Also, welcome back. I hope everything went okay with your son. Oh my god, you have a fluffy dog? What kind of dog? Well, to find okay, he's now screaming at the TV at some goat game. You know, as kids do, as kids do. <laughs> Is he playing Goat Simulator? Mm -hmm. I remember Goat Simulator. <laughs> yes, he is, <laughs> lol. Ah. Uh. It was a very interesting game. It had all kinds of stuff I didn't think would be in a goat simulator, like jetpacks and... <laughs> goat Simulator 3, so much goat they skipped Goat Sim 2. That's so funny. Hey, Abreem! I need to turn that into the community center. my energy. Mm -hmm. We'll probably take a run to the community center and drop some stuff off before we head to bed tonight. A new mm -hmm. record, a 24 inch chub! God, we're in Chubb Central over here. That sounded dirty. fish. Beautiful. Another pike. 49 inches. That's a huge fish. She's a mix between a King Charles, a miniature poodle, and a Bichon Frise. They call it a Capapuchon? Capapuchon? I know I'm butchering that. Hold on. No, why are you a complicated fish? I'm trying to read chat. There we go. They call a papapuchon, but seriously, when you Google this, she looks nothing like those. She's more on the spaniel side. Okay, I th 
I feel like we had a Cocker Spaniel when I was younger. She was a really sweet dog. I feel like Shelly was a Cocker Spaniel. A Spaniel and a, pro and a possible Dachshund. Oh my, very interesting. I love mutts for dogs. The, the ways, the different ways that they can look is just so interesting. She's so floofy, I'm sure. My parents have uh, two Australian Shepherds and those are some fluffy dogs. Oh my God. The undercoat is crazy. Yay. I don't want to go to the community center tonight. I lied. I'm just going to fish until we have to run home before we pass out. I don't think we have any of those here in Scotland. I would love to have one, though. Aussies are great dogs. Does Scotland have, like, um, rules about, like, breeds that are allowed in the country and stuff? Also, that's... That's so cool that you're from Scotland. I am from America. I don't know if anyone could tell from my accent or anything, but I'm on the West Coast in the Pacific Northwest. All right, like we're right beneath the farm, so we could probably run back at one and get away with it. No, not that I'm aware of, but I've never seen any. There may be some somewhere. They're just hiding from you, Em. I know certain states in America have, like, breed restrictions and stuff. I'm not sure if it's, like, statewide. It's just more like if you're trying to live in a certain area, you're not allowed to have certain breeds and kind of stuff, which is less than ideal. Yeah, I think they might because I take them all. <laughs> Steal all the cute puppies. Okay, sell one of those. Sell the Dorado. Sell all the chubs. Chubs. I think I might need a pike. I'm going to keep one just in case. And a sunfish just in case, too. Make an iron bar. Hey, we got refined quartz from those glasses. Oh, wait, nah. And put those away. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Cool beans. And to bed before we pass out. All the floof. Just amass an army of floofy animals. Beautiful. Got quite a bit of cash today. We should be able to get axe at the start of stream tomorrow, but this is where I'm going to call it. We're at the three hour mark now. Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out. It was wonderful to meet some new people, Gem Bam and Flynn, and always wonderful to have others come back. Thank you so much for hanging out, Infernal and um, Madge. Lovely to see you again. I really can't tell you guys how much I appreciate having you here. It's been a wonderful, wonderful stream. I hope to see you all again soon. And we're going to look for someone to raid now. Because we've got quite a few people in here. Let's see. Is Flynn still live? Flynn 1597. Sorry, guys. I'm not the best at this yet. I'm still kind of learning. Well, 
What if I follow them? Literal cricket sounds. All right, well, that's not working. Let's. Can you, like, search through categories? No, it's not letting me do any of that. Okay, we're just going to raid someone that I know uh, that was in here earlier. We're going to raid Prof. He's playing some Kingdom Come Deliverance, it looks like. And he's a really great dude. So, yeah, I'm going to send everybody over there and he can take care of us all. Again, thank you so much to everyone for hanging out and uh, helping me reach affiliate today. It It's amazing. I'm so happy and excited. I hope to see you all again soon. And I hope you enjoy some time with the prof. Start. Let's go!